where the tank leaks. Sanded it down. Added some water. And uh, that's the spot. here of uh, the hatch cover I redid and I'll run that now and you can see uh, I replaced the plexiglass or the Luxon whatever it was uh, that was on there that was old and faded and nasty I uh, got some new stuff and put that back on so I brought that down uh, I don't know a couple months ago or a month ago or whatever it was like one of the last couple times I was down here I did not shoot a lot of video the last couple times and I was just trying to get work done and uh, I've got a fair amount of things done um, anyway here's a few things check them out alright so I've replaced the uh, plexiglass on top of these hatches so I'm gonna go put those back on I got the hardware in the bucket here just kind of wait until I got down here before I put it all back on so I made sure I got it in the right way because as you can see there's multiple screw holes <laughs> so let's go put those on so I picked up a charger for a pretty good price and this is part of the panels can't see I'm thrilled with the uh, little charge controller there uh, probably will upgrade that at some point and I do need to finish hooking up wires for actually both of these so that's on the list of things to do uh, I bought some additional wires and connectors etc had to pick up so I have those um, I still have some water coming in right here not exactly sure where that's coming from uh, I was gonna go ahead today and finish cutting this out uh, and get this ready for the new bulkhead um, I know these windows here they definitely leak I don't know how bad but this morning we had quite a bit of rain and had quite a bit of moisture up under here so this is actually there Covering up, you can see. Um, it's pretty wet when I got here. Woo! That would be my hammer hitting this pole back here. Um, so yeah, I was gonna go ahead and take off. I have this piece here. I'm gonna take that off and see if I can see what's going on. And then continue to open this up. And I know that this right here. I'm gonna take that off and see what's going on up there above it. Um, all this is where I had the really bad leak a long time ago, and that's fairly dry. But look like from looking at the way this was, the water might have been over here, which is then related to this window over here, which they are on my list to fix. As this up here was dry, so it's water from here down somewhere. You can see it on the doors there a little bit. So I'm going to tear into this a little bit more and see if I can figure out what's going on here. So that's next. Probably about this time. Probably about the time I get rid of this anyway, right? Yuck. Part I'm trying to figure out is 
Now I'm going to get this bulkhead back in here without ripping out too much of the cabinets either on this side or that side of the wall. I don't know if it's possible or not. Um, I also did pull this down over here. I pulled some old nasty carpet out of in here, but that was actually pretty dry in there. I really do think it's coming from these windows right here, which I know leak. I have a tarp up there, but the tarp only goes to about here. I think some of the water is getting in, is getting in over here on this side. From what I can tell, I'm just kind of guessing. Wow, the wind is really picking up. It's like uh, 74 degrees here today, the weekend before Christmas. And uh, thought I'd come down and try and get some stuff done while it's really warm. But uh, I guess there's a, a front coming through, which is going to cause the temperature to drop again. And it's going to get cold and it's going to be pretty windy. Anyway, um, let me get some more tools out. Feel like Darth Vader here. Um, I've been slowly cutting it out. You can see here. I'm gonna work around this one ground wire, which is attached to uh, that bolt there from my chain plank. And I got this one half out. Working on the other half right now. Using sausage tool. Working pretty good. Let's see if I can shoot some of it. right here by the chain plate. But that's the idea. Oh I'm cramps in my legs. Pretty much what I've been doing all the way around here. I got uh, most of this cleaned up now. Also, whoop, shooting into the light. See, I got all that fiberglass cut off that was tabbing in the bulkhead right there. And uh, I did take this down. See, it's not wet. Sure, it doesn't look pretty though. <coughs> and I got that to deal with over there. And I don't know, I haven't decided what to do with this yet, whether to leave it or take it out. But as you can see, there's there's no bottom in there. I have to run something up from underneath. I don't know. I've decided, but right now I'm just cleaning everything up, getting ready to cut plywood for it. And I got cardboard at home, I'm going to use for pattern material, and I'm 
thinking I might do this bulkhead right here and two pieces that help me get it in there. That should work. So today when I was down, I uh, went ahead and worked over in the galley near the aft cabin. Um, from about midship forward, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. Still have the issues, but not nearly as many as I have going aft. So uh, I really want to get the, the bulkhead back together that I ripped out that was rotted. And the uh, get going on the, the galley countertop there where the sink used to be. Uh, I want to start getting that back together. I do have a leak over there. I'm not really sure what it is, so I started taking out uh, some more stuff trying to figure out what's going on. I think it's probably the, the windows in the aft cabin, which I want to order some plexiglass for and redo those uh, all together. Just kind of change the way that they are. Uh, but that'll probably have to be a spring job for right now. I got a tarp back there that's helping, but it doesn't really cover everything. So probably going to have to fix my tarp situation next time I come down um, but anyway I'll uh, I'll take you back and show you stuff that I got done at the end of the day here today so you can see here this wet spot this one here it's coming from back in here somewhere and it's it's trailing down and just coming out over here, so I'm pretty sure that's where that's coming from. It's nothing over in this vicinity that's wet. Um, there's another spot. Woo! Lamp spot. You see right there. Um, and that comes down through this engine compartment somewhere. And I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. Um, but anyway, I went ahead and cut out all the tabbing that was along the old bulkhead. Uh, cleaned up all the wood Cleaned up all this area here. I did cut out back there in the back uh, the tabbing that was part of that shelf in the back and Let's see I'm trying to look for a place to put this on oh, Actually, it was a good spot right here So anyway the aft cabin bit of a construction zone that is my emergency tiller that I stuck in, let's see, last time I was down and did check the, uh, the hydraulic steering repair I did, did work. If you recall, you can see the new copper there. It was leaking right here and that's all been fixed. So that part's good. I can actually move the rudder again, which is awesome news. Uh, the engine still is a project that is coming this spring. Uh, hopefully a lot of this exterior superficial rust is not the big deal. I do have a couple issues going on here. Let's see if Mr. Light will help. So this boat has a, a panel so that uh, you can do stuff from below. Um, but right here I noticed I have some frayed wires and I need to take care of that. <laughs> this is, let's see if you can see it, that is the voltage regulator and it is shot, rusted all the hill. So that needs to be replaced yet. So that has to happen. I gotta put the alternator back on and take care of a couple of these wiring issues that I got going on right here. And then start sorting out the strainers. I believe this is the engine strainer right here and it fell off 
it was mounted to the side of the engine compartment here, but it fell off. That one back there works the uh, is the strainer for the generator. Uh, the 5 kW Wester B, I think it's a Wester B generator. I don't remember. It's been a little while since that blade back there. So anyway, that's where we're at there. Um, Bag of trash. This bag is going home. I pulled out a nasty carpet out of here and nasty carpet out of there. So that's all gone. Let's turn the light out. Um, I'm gonna leave those ports open. And I'll leave two ports open forward. Here in the main cabin, under the tarp. I usually leave this one here and this one here open so that uh, any humidity that is in here can get out during the winter. Actually worked great last year. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna pack up and get out of here and take myself down the road. Uh, Got a headlight out, so probably have to drive home with the bright lights on. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like this one particular type of grass. I've used it a couple times already. Come on, you. Gas guy's over at the house right now. So I'm keeping Ava, the attack dog, away. And shocker. It's raining today. <laughs>